Welcome to the Design Master Photometrics video tutorial. This video will show you how to start a new project, create light fixtures and insert them on the drawing, draw calculation areas and photometric solids, perform photometric calculations, make changes to existing entities on the drawing, insert and update the light fixture project schedule, and manage multiple calculation areas. If you'd like to follow along, Links to the written tutorial and project files can be found in the description below this video. Let's get started. Here we have a drawing that includes the architect's drawing as an XREF. This ensures that the changes we make will not affect the original drawing and that we can modify the project as the design changes without needing to start over each time. To begin a new photometrics project, run the Start New Photometrics Project command. Here, you can name the project and see where the project's database file will be created. You can also select a standards database and light fixture schedule group, which are used to import predefined customizations and light fixtures. For now, we'll press the OK button to use the default settings. This will create a .dm file in the same folder as the current drawing. Additional drawings saved to this folder will use the same database. This means the light fixture project schedule and quantity counts will be shared across all drawings in the folder. If you move the drawings to a new location, you must move the .dm file as well. Before we start placing light fixtures on the drawing, they must first be defined in the light fixture project schedule. Select New to create a new light fixture, which we'll name W. Once the light fixture has been created, the block and other information can be set. Press the Select Block button to set the block. We'll use the round, wall-mounted small block. Light fixture information can be entered manually or imported from an IES file provided by the manufacturer. Press the Select IES File button. Then open the wall-mounted light file. Values such as the lumens and number of lamps will be imported automatically. You can also import additional information about the fixture that will appear when the schedule is inserted on the drawing, but does not affect photometrics calculations. Press the Yes button to import this information. Set the mounting to Wall, and this light fixture is complete. Now we need to create a second and third light fixture. This fixture, which we've named S, has the single pole mounted block, is associated with the parking lot light IES file, has arm length set to 3, and mounting set to pole. Press the Save button, then the Copy button to make another light fixture with the same settings. We'll call this one D. Set the block to dual pole mounted 180 offset. Then set the number of heads to 2 180 degree offset. Press the Save button to save changes, then close the dialog box. Now that the light fixtures have been created in the project schedule, they can be inserted on the drawing with the Insert Light Fixture command. This dialog box allows you to set the mounting height, tilt, and layer system for the selected fixture. You can also press the Edit button to make changes in the project schedule. With the S light fixture selected, set the mounting height to 20. Make sure Tilt is set to 0 and Layer System is set to New. Then press the OK button. Specify an insertion point and rotation angle on the drawing for the light fixture. You can continue to place as many fixtures as you need. Once you have your light fixtures inserted like so, Press Enter to finish the command. Then run the Insert Light Fixture command again. Select the W light fixture. Set the mounting height to 8. Set the tilt to 45 degrees. And make sure the layer system is set to New. Press the OK button to begin inserting this light fixture on the drawing. When you are finished, your drawing should look like this. Before calculations can be performed, we need to define the area on the drawing to be calculated using the Insert Calculation Area command. 
This dialog box allows you to set a title for the calculation schedule, grid spacing, calculation elevation, and more. For now, we'll use the default schedule title, grid spacing at 10 feet, and calculation elevation at zero. Check the Calculate Vertical Illuminance Levels at Area Boundary box. Set Vertical Calculation Spacing to 2 and Vertical Display Spacing to 5. Press the OK button to begin drawing the boundary of your calculation area. The boundary is drawn the same way as any other polygon in AutoCAD. Once your calculation area looks like this, press Enter to finish the command. You will then be prompted to insert the calculation schedule for the area. The top left corner of the schedule will be inserted at the point you specify on the drawing. To represent objects that block light, such as buildings, use the Insert Solid commands. These commands can be used to add single lines for walls, rectangles, or polygons for irregular shapes, such as the building in this drawing. In the dialog box, you can set a starting and ending elevation and a reflectance value for the object. For this shape, we'll use the default values of 0, 20, and 0.5. Press the OK button to begin drawing the solid around the building. The process is the same as with the calculation area. Your photometric solid should look like this when you are finished. Now that we've defined and inserted our light fixtures, calculation area, and photometric solid, we can calculate the illuminance levels for the area using the Calculate command. In this dialog box, you can set the intervals and colors of contours, how illuminance levels are displayed, the calculations shown in the schedule, and more. For this calculation, we'll use the default values and settings. Make sure the Zoom to Schedule After Insertion setting is unchecked, then press the OK button to perform the calculation. When the calculation is finished, your drawing should look something like this. Light fixtures, calculation areas, and photometric solids can be modified after being inserted on the drawing using the Query command. First, we'll adjust the mounting height of this light fixture. Set the mounting height to 25 and press the OK button. The drawing will not change, but if you run the Calculate command, you'll notice the foot candle values in that area are different. You can also edit multiple light fixtures at once using the Edit Multiple command. Set the callout of these fixtures to D and press the OK button. Again, performing the calculation will show different values around those fixtures. Finally, you can use standard AutoCAD commands to move, rotate, copy, and erase light fixtures on the drawing. To make changes to a calculation area, run the Query command and select the boundary. We can change the schedule title and adjust the grid spacing from 10 to 15. Make sure the Recalculate Illuminance Levels setting is checked. When we press the OK button, the area will recalculate automatically and the schedule title and grid spacing will update. To demonstrate how photometric solids can be modified, let's use the Insert Solid Shape command to model a tree. For now, we'll use the default values. Press the OK button and begin drawing a rough circle around one of the trees. When you are finished, run the Calculate command to show how the solid affects the calculation. As with light fixtures, you can manipulate solids using the AutoCAD Copy, Move, and Erase commands. If you run the Query command, and select a solid, you can change its elevation and reflectance values. Change the ending elevation to 5 and press the OK button. Run the Calculate command to see how the foot candle values change. To insert the light fixture schedule for this project on the drawing, run the Insert Light Fixture Project Schedule command. 
This dialog box allows you to configure the schedule settings, including what information is displayed. We'll use the default settings for now. Make sure the Zoom to Schedule After Insertion setting is unchecked, and press the OK button. Insert the schedule on the drawing the same way you inserted the calculation schedule earlier. To make changes to the schedule, run the Insert Light Fixture Project Schedule command again. We can modify the schedule columns by pressing the Edit Title, Column Labels, and Column Order button. Here, you can set whether each column is displayed, the column heading, and its width and justification. Uncheck the display boxes for Note 2 and Note 3. Change the label for Note 1 to Note. Then select the Volts row and use the Move Up button to place it between the symbol and lamp rows. Press the OK button, then the OK button again, and the schedule will be updated to reflect the changes. For a project, you may need to calculate different areas of the drawing in different ways. We'll start by erasing our current calculation area using the AutoCAD Erase command. Run the Insert Calculation Area command. Uncheck the Calculate Vertical Illuminance Levels at Area Boundary box. Press the OK button and draw the calculation area as shown. Run the Insert Calculation Area command again. Set the grid spacing to 5, then press the OK button to draw a second calculation area. The area should look like this when you finish. When you are asked to insert the calculation schedule, specify a point inside the first calculation area. This will group the second area with the first. Values in the calculation schedule will reflect the foot candle values for both areas. You can also group calculation areas already on the drawing, as we'll demonstrate with a third calculation area. Run the Insert Calculation Area command again. Set grid spacing to 10, and begin drawing the area. Draw the boundary and insert the photometric schedule as shown here. If you run the Calculate command, you will be asked to specify which area you want calculated. Select the boundary for the new calculation area to only calculate that area. To group this area with the others, run the Add Calculation Area to Group command. First, select a calculation area that is already in the group. Then select the area you want to add. Since all calculation areas in a group use a common photometric schedule, the photometric schedule that only corresponded to the new area will be removed. Run the Calculate command to see how the values in the schedule change. We can also use the Remove Calculation Area from Group command to separate areas in a group. Select the middle boundary and insert the photometric schedule for that area. Run the Calculate command and select the top area. Because the top and bottom areas are still grouped, both will be calculated. If we run the Calculate command again, and press Enter, the calculation will be performed for all areas on the drawing. This concludes the Design Master Photometrics video tutorial. For more information about our software, you can read the user manual or visit the knowledge base using the links below this video. You can also contact us by calling 866-516-9497 or emailing support at designmaster.biz. Take care.